Hey there and happy Valentine's Day. Today is Tuesday, February 14th, 2023. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. We just got back late last night from New York City where we were one of the shops at the marketplace for Vogue Knitting Live in um, at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Super, super fun event. So many really wonderful attendees were there. All these really creative um, students as well. I had a couple different classes. It was such a great time. And of course it's New York City, so why wouldn't it be a lot of fun? Um, like I said, we got back late last night. Today we are here sort of regrouping and preparing for a local show, a really fun local show, which is Red Alder. It is in Tacoma, so it's just down the road. Um, travel time is a lot less for this one. Um, so from show to show, between there and there, there and there, we're going to talk about the stuff here and now. So today we're going to talk about the Prismarine. That is this scarf, this really beautiful scarf. It's by Anna Apasova. It uses two different yarns from Earth, um, Earth yarns, which are a wonderful hand dyed yarn that is made in Turkey. Um, one of them is this one. It's this uh, is called Unique Fingering. And for this shawl, which I'll take it off of Mrs. Olson in just a second and let you see it, but this is um, 435 yards of 100% extra fine merino that's hand dyed. It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. This is color 3024. You can kind of see what the colors are. And it is paired with another yarn that they do, which is called Harvest Fingering, and this is Indigo. So those are the two colors that this kit is. Um, one hank of each. They're both 100% extra fine merino. Both of them have 435 yards. So the two of them together, doing this really gorgeous slip stitch pattern, um, create a scarf that is giant. I mean, it's a big, big, big scarf really big, beautiful scarf that um, is uh, 75 inches long. And this is the back of it. <laughs> Might as well show you the back. And uh, nine and a half inches wide. It's done on the bias. So there's some increasing and decreasing going on. There's some slip stitches, but it is a pretty simple project to do. And the yarn, of course, does all the work. Uh, the back of it, I think, looks really great because of the way that this, um, the way that this pattern works. So you can check out, if you are interested, this project. If you buy this kit, um, which is the two hanks of yarn, we're going to purchase and gift you that pattern from Anna, the Prismarine scarf. We're gonna buy that through Ravelry. As you know, if you're interested in us adding the pattern to your Ravelry account, you just put that, um, your Ravelry name in the um, in your order when you place your order and we'll do that um, when we get the pattern for you. We'll print a copy, include it with your order and that is the Prismarine scarf. Um, other, oh, takes a US5 circular. If you don't have one, you can also add that to your cart right as well. Um, it is worked flat, so it doesn't have to be a very large circular. It's just, you know, this length here, this is like 14 inches or so for the bias. Item number two, Kate Davies. So we have a few more copies of this. It's back in stock, it's called Knitting Season. And for Kate, um, knitting season is all the time, all the time of the year when you can sit down and enjoy knitting because it's the craft that we love, right? Inside this really beautiful book, you're gonna find all kinds of really fantastic, fantastic sweaters. Um, there are lots of different skill level projects, um, you know, more more or less involved. So you can find those. There's also a couple really great hats and um, charted hats and things. So if you're interested in that, but you can check out, oh, look at that. This beautiful wrap. There's lots of stuff in here. So knitting season, if you're interested, you don't have this book, make sure you get it. It keeps selling out whenever we bring it in. So we've got it back in for you. Um, and it is here for you to check out. What else is on my list? Oh, it's Valentine's Day. So we're going to talk about things that are heart shaped. So this is the Addy to Go. So Addy to Go's are um, spring loaded heart shaped needle holders. And there are two different ones in here, a small and a large. The small one will hold needle tips 
um, from a size triple zero to a size US eight. This is the small one, the small one. And then the large one holds like size nine to a size 15. So how does this work? There are some springs inside here. If you can see them, maybe this way, there's a spring. And um, so when you squeeze this, whoop, you're able to put the two knitting needles in um, and then when you let it go, it squeezes on and holds onto the needles and then it parks your project so you don't have to worry about stitches falling off your needles while the project is resting. So they are often um, not in stock. They sell out really quick usually as well. They are a fan favorite at the different shows. We'll have some of these at Red Alder coming up. We had them at um, at Vogue Knitting Live in New York, and they sold like crazy. So if you are interested in getting a little Addy to go, we can make that happen for you um, on the website. We also have a little bit of love, because everyone needs a little bit of love. These are <laughs> the Addy Love stitch markers. They fit um, up to a size US 10, which is a six millimeter needle. And there's six of these little removable stitch markers in this little packet. So if you're interested in a little tiny bit of love, you can have that too. Um, other things. Oh, one more thing. The flexible blocking wire set. So this is our flexible blocking wire set. It's something that we um, have made here. We've assembled this and developed it here. It includes inside this little container, which on the back there's a little QR code, so you can scan that. Opens up a playlist of videos that demonstrate how to use these um, flexible blocking wires, and also um, in that playlist the modular, which are the, the little straight ones. Um, there is a instruction card that has that same QR code and general instructions on how to use the piece. Um, there are some stainless T-pins in here, um, 30 of those. And then there are four wires and all the wires are about 47 inches long. They have, um, they're held in place with a wire keeper, which is just this little Velcro-y bit. And, um, these wires are awesome. They are great for blocking curves. They're also really great for blocking straight pieces. So if you've made the Prismarine, you could use these wires to block this nice and straight, and you don't have to put 100 T-pins in. You feed this wire through the edge of the work and then just pin every once in a while to hold that wire nice and straight. Then when you steam or if you wet the piece when it dries, it'll dry nice and flat um, and beautiful. When you're done, you just take these little wires, you recoil them back up, slip them into their um, little storage bag here, give it a seal, and it gets tucked away back into this container along with the T-pins. And don't forget the instructions in case you uh, want a refresher of how to use them. And it all gets put back away and look how tiny it is. It's like the size of a compact disc. So the flexible blocking wire set, we have some of these in stock if you're interested in upping your blocking game. And that's it, I think, for today. So have a fantastic day. Um, if you have questions or need help with anything at all, we are here to help you out. You just email us, hello at makersmercantile.com. Or of course, give us a call, 206-747-7121. If, uh, if that's it, which it is, I think, um, have a fantastic week and we will see you potentially in person on in the next few days at the show. Otherwise, I will see you on Friday for another fun adventure um, with a newsletter. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.